Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Just thought I'd film a prepper pantry tour for you guys today. So I'll go through what items I have in each level and I'll run through how I organize it. I've also got another shelf that I'll probably go through with you guys, but let's just start on the bottom here. So at the back there, if you guys can see, it's a little bit dark. I've got my rice cream. I think I've got maybe five cans of the Coles brand rice cream at the back. I purchased them for a dollar. Now they're a dollar twenty a can. Hopefully you guys can see. Let me bring one out. Yeah. So I stack them there. Also, just note, guys, stack the cans that you are most likely not going to need in the short term at the back. So it's easier for you to rotate. So as you can see, I don't put any canned tomatoes in here because canned tomatoes I need to rotate more frequently because it's got it's a high highly acidic food so I need to rotate that more often compared to these items here so creams rice on the far right for me this middle aisle lots of canned beans canned veggies you can see here I've got canned green pea peas at the bottom on that aisle there and if you've noticed each little stack I leave a bit of room for me to put my hand in because if it's too tight it's going to be annoying to reach in to get your items and then my markdown mushrooms if you're a regular on my channel you would have seen this special that I informed you guys of got six of those and one whole can of mushrooms my Campbell stews if you're a regular on my channel you guys know I love my Campbell stews and I always grab them when they're half price I think I've got mm, 10 of these cans yep I've got 10 of these cans because we've got two four six eight ten I think that should be enough for now <laughs> and then over here I've got my canned meats so Spam, I love my Spam and you guys know that. This spiced ham down here, I haven't tried yet, but it is half. it was half price when I purchased it. So I grabbed that. At the back, I've got my canned fruit. So I think I've got three cans of canned peach. Yep, so canned peach slices, canned peach slices. And then I've just got one of the Australian two fruit mix. Just note guys, canned Sliced peaches at Coles at the moment are $3, whereas Woolies are selling their canned peach slices for $2.80. So, save 20 cents. Um, if you guys haven't noticed already, I've actually spaced things out so it's pretty easy for me to move things around. Because um, I am moving things around to show you guys in this video and it's quite easy for me to do so. Now, over here, I've got some canned corn spears as well. And then I've got some canned condensed soups. And I've just got two cans of coconut milk here as well. So this is the first level done. I will take you up to the next level here. This one's probably not as organized as the bottom one, but I won't be reaching for items from this level as often. So... At the back, I've got my regular home brand Coles and Woolworths pasta spirals. And then I've got two bags of these Italian Arborio rices. And then here I've got my little baby macaronis I got from the Regic shop. And if you're a regular on my channel, you would have found out about this special maybe a few weeks ago or a month ago where it was, I think it was five bags for $3, which makes it 60 cents a bag. Whereas the cheapest pasta at Coles and Woolies is about 80 cents to a dollar. All right, so I've got my pastas on the left and in the middle here, I know it looks a little bit disorganized, but trust me, it's organized because I know what's in each section. Here is all my Asian noodles. So my vermicelli, my rice noodles, my egg noodles here as well. So this aisle for me is my Asian noodles. And then I've just um, put this dried mushroom there. It's not opened. And then here I've got my couscous and my pearl barley, my bean mixes. 
here okay and now we're moving over to this aisle <laughs> i make it sound like it's my supermarket we're moving over to this aisle at the back i've got some cake mix and then here all of this here is also cake mix or pikelet mix so you got pancakes mix here pikelets custard powder chocolate cake at the back is carrot cake so that's my sweets aisle so i've just put in my backup hot chocolate here but the hot chocolate guys that's only something that i drink in the winter that's why i only have one because in summer i'm probably not going to drink this so it's not a major stockpile it's more so a short-term stockpile for this one i've got two bags of salt in the middle here just to separate the aisles a little bit and some jelly three packs of jelly there and a pack of dry yeast so level one is here level two is there and level three is up here so level three i probably won't touch as often either so i'll go through what i have in here just grabbed a chair to stand on guys because this shelf is i think two meters so it's a little bit hard for me to film on this very top shelf okay so these are my asian soup base broths um I think I speak about them quite often. You can get them at Coles and Woolworths for a dollar a pack. And each pack has four cubes in it. It does sound expensive compared to like your normal chicken stock cubes like here. Because you get a pack of 21 for like $2. Sorry guys. You get a pack of 21 for like $2. But these Asian soup broths here are very different to your chicken stock. So instead of getting takeout, I can just make my own quick little Asian soupy noodle dish at home use one of these cubes if you go to an Asian grocer most likely you're going to be able to pick it up cheaper as well you're looking at probably 70 to 80 cents at an Asian grocer a dollar at Coles and Woolworths but sometimes Coles and Woolies do have a sale for 80 cents so just keep an eye out for these so I do have another drawer where I have some seasonings that I use often but I've put them in a separate drawer um so it's just easier for me to access because I don't want to be getting a chair to reach for my seasonings that I've put in a two meter high shelf. <laughs> so Asian seasonings here. I've got a random packet of traditional squares there. Um, some Moroccan seasoning at the back and one packet of, I think it's Mexican nacho seasoning. Yeah, taco seasoning at the back. Got some honey here and my golden curry mix and my vegetable stock and my chicken stock as well so as you can see this shelf is more so focused around seasonings i've got two canned bamboo shoots here and my exo mushroom sauce okay and some jarred items the reason why i've put the jarred items up here is because when I'm moving the cans around down the bottom, I don't want to accidentally tip one of these jars over because obviously it's going to shatter everywhere. So I've got two, um, I think 700 mils. Let's have a look. So 700, 700 grams of Italian passata. I've got one of these capsicum tomato based sauces. I call it a passata, but it's clearly not. It's... Similar to a Posada. I actually got this for free at Coles. Um, so normally this is $4, but I got it for free because I had a flybys offer. You guys will probably see this in one of my grocery hauls. And this is a jar of stuffed green olives. I don't eat olives too often, but I don't mind having it every now and then. So that's why I, that's why I grabbed one jar there. Okay, my Costco dried mushrooms absolutely love them and i've just got one of these wheat beaks honey crunch bites i love this but it's kind of expensive now it's five dollars for 500 grams that's kind of expensive for cereal five dollars but i've got one here so this wraps up this aisle i keep calling it an aisle i make it sound like i have my own shop i'm going to take you to my other shelf over here Okay, guys, we've moved over to a different shelf. 
this is kind of the instant noodle shelf as you can see i've got some instant duck ramen at the back some migarang some of the real australian roast beef instant noodles that i get from costco this is a noodle i think i got from costco as well however this noodle here i wouldn't recommend you guys to buy this one because it's not that tasty <laughs> i mean i don't mind eating it but i wouldn't recommend you guys to go buy it so clearly i don't like it enough but this here this real roast beef i really like this it does come with a pouch with actual beef chunks as well a bit on the pricey end but it's nice to have a treat in your stockpile migarang from costco is cheaper i think i'll have to get another packet soon so i can compare the pricing for you guys and then if i move down here i've got a random bowl of oud on here the reason why i've left it there is because i only have one left so I've got a pack of green tea at the back that's not opened and then I've got one here that is opened. I've got my English breakfast tea here as well that's opened. This shelf is still a bit bare. I still got a lot to go through to clean up and organize. So I'm just filming a little bit as I go. Here are my mueslis. So I've got my apple crumble at the back, my maple date here, and my Carmen's cranberry, blueberry, and goji muesli. So these two packets aren't open yet. This one is. So guys, I just wanted to film this section for you. This is a separate drawer where it's not as organized as my prepper pantry, as you can see. These are my canned tomatoes and items that I rotate quite often. So that's why they're in this drawer and my seasonings here that i use often as you can see this drawer isn't as organized as my prepper pantry as well but i'm moving in and out of these drawers quite often so i'll let myself be a little bit messy with this cupboard here as well if i accidentally drop a can obviously i've got to use that up because it won't store as well if your can is damaged that's where i put the damaged cans as well i put it down here in this drawer and my dog's just wanting to come into this shot here. You can see his little ears. So this wraps up my prepper pantry tour. Hopefully you guys liked this video. Please hit the like button for me if you did so I know what type of videos you like. And even let me know in the comments if there's a particular video you want me to film. Let me know so I can get that organized for you. And make sure you guys subscribe because I do post videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. But sometimes I'll post bonus videos where I show you what type of specials are going on at the shops. And you don't want to miss out on that because a lot of the time they're clearance and markdown items. Which means they're really good dealers and they run out pretty quickly. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next video.